then I'll show you. What else do you need? Hey guys, welcome so much to my YouTube channel. This is Sharon. Here is yet another interesting video for you. It's always a pleasure having you on board. If you are a new subscriber, feel at home. As previously seen in my other videos, I decided to work on my backyard or home garden or kitchen garden. And since the rains are here, how about planting some maize and beans and other crops just to see that we don't waste the little land we have here. Apart from the pumpkins um, that you can see, I also thought of planting some sukuma wiki and spinach, but that will have to be left for some other time, but it's on the bucket list. That's a must in the future. Not to say that we haven't attempted planting some sukuma wiki on this garden, we did and they did so well so we are confident that they can also do well once eggs. more wow this is quite a lot okay. trying to form on this small chamber that we later on plant our maize and beans but practically it's just beans and maize Let's see what I found on the ground a lot of ants and I think that they even have eggs some work but mine is just a home garden so I'm gonna try and plant some maize now that the rains are here
Do you mean the farm? I'm just crossing my fingers hoping that it will get to rain because it hasn't been raining of late as much it would rain quite heavily then the rains would suddenly stop so we need to have adequate rainfall for us to be able to achieve what we had anticipated so if you plant with no rains then you do not expect to have a bountiful harvest. If you don't work, you should equally not eat. Those are not my words, but they are clearly stipulated in the Bible. <laughs> Get your hands dirty, go there and work hard. Hard work pays.
I was digging, I came across them. Trying to commit it and make this possible. This was my tool, yeah, to dig the ground. Growing so well. You're doing so good. Guys, do you remember the chicken that was laying on some eggs? Yes. They finally hatched and here are the chicks. My goodness. And look at them. They're so cute. Oh, oh, oh. They hatched finally, finally, finally. After 21 days and counting. You know what guys a chicken needs to lay on fertilized eggs by any chance the eggs are not fertilized the chicken will keep laying on the eggs day in day out and no chicks will be hatched no chicks will be hatched at all so you need to make sure that your eggs are fertilized But then again, it's very tricky. Uh, you can get a vendor to get you some fertilized eggs. But by any chance, if those eggs are not fertilized, the chicks will not hatch. The eggs will rot eventually and you will not have any chicks. Therefore, you cannot grow your flock. So to be on the safe side, get someone you can trust who will sell you eggs that are fertilized. Otherwise, your work will be null and void. Or better yet, produce your own fertilized eggs. As you can see here, the chicks are craving for warmth. So just make sure that they always stay warm. And the mother, the presence of the mother will ensure that the chicks are warm enough. Ensure that they are in a clean place. Provide them with clean water and plenty of food to help them grow as well. You can also vaccinate them at this age. But now when you go to the veterinary, they only give you a vaccine for a um, 100 chicks and above. So if you're playing with around 10, 20, 30 chicks, unfortunately, you will not get a vaccine. So you need to find a way of making your chicks survive as much. Just look at it, trying to hide under the mom. <laughs> and trying to get the warmth as much as it can. How cute. If you only thought humans are the only species who are intelligent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these ones too are <laughs> ah, look at how it's hiding just look at it and baby. look at what <laughs> interesting right <laughs> hiding under the wings <laughs> Well, this is just an update of the planting we were doing last time. It's been over 
a month now and uh, this is the pro progress so far you can see that they are doing quite well because it has been raining lately so with rains you're guaranteed to have a harvest but without any rains then all your work has gone to waste and remember our fertilizer is organic purely from chicken poop or chicken waste after a few weeks and adequate rainfall you can almost see how big the plants have grown at this point this is where i was planting the leaves seeds and the and the bean seeds as well and uh, this is the update as of right now both the maize and the beans are doing so well look at how healthy the leaves are looking and they're so green mm, look good and the traditional veggies are also picking up pace they are growing in height as well you can see um, the bean leaves the pests have started feeding on the bean leaves and this can hinder growth so in case you have pesticides this is where it comes in but you can consider maybe using natural pesticides yeah Look at this one, this one is very healthy. And the maize we planted as well, they're coming along so well because it's been raining. So with rains, we are um, sure of a bountiful harvest. And here is the tomato leaf. So this is um, how it looks like and pumpkin leaves as well so as the plants grow also the weeds grow and they need to be uprooted so that they don't compete with the main plants for nutrition the pumpkins have begun to fruit as you can see from the flower just down below you'll be able to see the fruit mm -hmm. Flower. But looking right inside the flower, you can be able to see ants. So those ones also interfere with the growth process. And they need to be eliminated as soon as possible. Here is the fruit. Mm. We'll try to see if we can find more inside as well. And then I'll show you. The pumpkins have uh, built quite a thick forest down below. I wanted to show you how thick it is. Very, very thick. Yeah? Just look at it. Mm -hmm. And this is how it looks on the outside. Awesome, right? The fruits have begun to grow and the stem is quite spiky. Here is yet another one. So when the flower dries, it falls off and uh, gives room or, or gives way to the fruit to grow. Yeah, yet another one as well. Mm -hmm. Just look at it. The stems will continue to grow tall as the young leaves um, take pace in growing as well. From the tiny leaves to the very big leaves you'll see after. So this is how they grow from the stem. And surprisingly, the stem also is usually very small and forms um, 
a coil but as it grows it becomes bigger and looks like the rest look at the tiny leaves so tiny eventually it grows to become very big and spiky <laughs> Imagine this grows to become the size of the bigger one. Yeah? Isn't it amazing? <laughs> wow. The chicks are quite jovial and active. And they look healthy as well. They like coming out in the sun, warm weather. The young ones will also be feeding on grounded maize or crushed maize or crushed corn, the, one, the corn that is already dry. And the mixture is often mixed with um, dried sardines for proteins as well. And the mother hen will be helping the chicks with eating. And um, also on the side, they will have clean water as we do not have want to have any of them choking because the food can get dry at times these potatoes we got them from the market shortly after the rains there is all of a sudden plenty and plenty of potatoes and they are quite cheap eh? so a country that invests in agriculture then the nation will always have food to eat. There's no hunger. There's no need to import when you can produce. This is one way a nation can grow itself. Empower the farmer and feed the nation and grow the nation. Invest in your own country. Lead by example. Be the flag bearer. Yeah? When we learn to invest in agriculture, automatically the cost of living will go down because we have plenty of food in the market and there's no more competition so definitely the cost will go down and we have a, a more food put on the table for everyone I'm preparing some skillet potatoes. This recipe I learned on YouTube. And ever since I knew how to make these potatoes, I've never looked back. This is just one of my favorite meals at home. I can make it anytime, any day, as long as I have some potatoes. And I go for it. I just go with it. Mm? So I thought to myself, why not share it here? Give someone some idea. Next time you have potatoes in the house, what do you do? What do you do with them? Just out of the normal, something that you don't make often at home. You can try this. So I'll pack them for later use.
kushinda nyama hii. Mm. Mm. With some salt. Sauce. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. You can have this for breakfast. Maybe lunch, maybe. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that guy. Mm. What else do you need? Mm. Mm. Tomatoes and vegetables for long. Yeah. Yeah, let them stay there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you so much. That was all for now. If you found the video helpful, you can consider subscribing. See you on the next one. Bye.